Welcome everyone to Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 19. And right now, I'm going to show you one of my favorite games. Ooh. Ooh. The wasteland can be an unforgiving place. I found you naked, left for dead with no supplies. It looks like you crossed the Duke in a bad way, and you can use some help. Enclosed in a short guide to help you survive, if you complete it, we just might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement, it's real and it's safe. Peace be with you, friend, Noah. Hmm. Who is Noah? Noah. Basic survival is your active quest. The quest set status is displayed on the objective tracker in the top right of the screen. For more information on quests, access your inventory and navigate to the quest menu. All right. Let's see how's everything around here. Let's see. Oh, this is a burnt home. First of all, we're going to have to collect some plant fibers. Oh, that'd be lovely. Over At least we, we spawn on the grassland. This is the best place we want to be. So we're going to collect some plant fibers and then we're going to collect some wood. Oh, I got some pieces of wood right there. And I gotta collect some stone. Right away, we're gonna want to make a stone axe. Let's see the back. All right. <clears throat> Got some feathers, some wood. Some broken up car. Let's see what's inside this cooler. Water bottle and an empty bottle. Okay. So far. Let's make a bedroom. Make a wooden club just in case we run into a zombie. Let's we'll collect more wood. More wood, the better. I'm gonna go sit and pu punch some trees. <clears throat> All right, get some feather there. And if you can't find wood, you're gonna have to punch it out on the tree. Now to pick up some stone. Oh, I got eleven dollars there. With that money, eventually we could go take it to the trader, buy some weapons or materials for more advanced crafting things. But right now we need a weapon and we need to go find a place we're gonna stay the night and potentially build as our base. I got some stone, oh yeah. Find some more stone. There's some stone right there. Is right that enough to make a stone axe? Yes, it is. All right. So now we we'll start chopping down some trees. Range the weapon, ammo, and statistics. Right. Well, let me just knock down this tree, and then we're gonna. Again, on the move on. All right. So pretty good quality. This where this is a padded hood. See, if you can read the stats on it. It's gonna give us a light armor rating of five, explosive resistance of five, armor crit resist negative six percent. 
Zero on the stamina, but ability, no spell. Let's just put it on. I put this in my main pack. It's like quick access to my weapon, which is going to be very useful once I come across a zombie. It's a torch. And here's a note. A mission. Let's see. Maybe we can read this mission. what I started with, I believe, the little note. <laughs> Alright, this little trail is like right there. Let's place our bedroom down so we can see the next mission now. Drop it right here. For now, we're going to drop it right there. Just leave it there so in case we do die, we can spawn, spawn right back on the bedroom. Because without the red bo the bedroom, you will spawn somewhere random on the map. Okay, so craft a stone axe. I already did that, but let's do another one. Alright. Craft pant, fiber shirts, and pants. I'm gonna want to do these missions faster that way we could get some free skill points. Hmm. Alright, what's next on, next on the list? We're gonna have to wear it. Timber. All right, so put on a pant fiber pants and a pant fiber shirt. And I'll craft a wooden club. I want to gather, gather a small stone. All right. Straight ahead, I see. It's like a little neighborhood over there. Okay, that so that's good. That's good. So since there's a neighborhood, there's gonna be a lot of loot. For us to do. Okay. There we go. So now we're gonna cra craft a primitive bow and craft some stone arrows. Start getting the archery game up. I'm gonna put the uh, bow right in my main inventory. That way we can quickly. There we go. Now we're all set now. I'm not sure if we're quite ready. It is a city of Dyersville. Mm. Okay. Oh, I see a, a chicken over there. <laughs> All right, so I see a hospital over there. It's a lot of abandoned homes. Oh, our first encounter. So let's craft a wooden frame. Let's make a couple of these. Well, I couldn't make three no way. I don't want that. That wrong thing. Let's make a couple of them. Let's upgrade it. Boom. We just made, upgrade our first wooden block. Guys are five small stones. Okay. Let's see. It's a little chicken there. Let's see if we could. Uh, so we're going to activate stealth mode now. As you can see in the bottom left corner, it's a little meter that shows you how stealth, stealthy I am at the moment. The uh, stone arrowhead is not going to be as accurate. Eventually, we're going to find the um, go to iron arrowheads, and then there's a steel one as well. The steel is the better one. 
But the chicken ran away. Hoping to get that chicken so that way we have some dinner for the night. Oh, I just saw him right there. Where did I get him? Uh, Start with him. Let's click some more. 16. Feathers right now. Oh, there he is. Let's see if we can get him. Don't go anywhere. You're so fast. You see, what I mean by the accuracy is not so good. At least we'll be able to pick up our arrowheads. Woof, got him. There's another one right there. Come on, can I get you? Why are you moving so fast? Where you at? Somewhere in the grass right there. I think it's right there. Hmm, hmm poor little chick. But, going to need some food later. Right away, let's try to make a shiv out of this. Yeah, a bone knife, actually. Ooh, okay. Let's craft it. Once we get this bone knife, we're going to be able to extract more meat out of our animals. Let's see. Okay, that will be good tonight when we bunker down during the nighttime. We get a little hungry. It's another chicken here. If I can get this chicken, we're gonna be eating good tonight. Let's see if I can get him. Right, let's see. Right, I can get him. Now you move so much. Alright, there he is. Come on, come on, don't move on. Well, you know what? Let's just go find get some more stone. Might as well grip scatter some resources now before it gets any darker. Oh yeah. So early in the night, so hey, I mean See what we can do. I think by now, either should I go in the city or should I stay outside the city? This home right here is destroyed. see some zombies over there. I don't think I'm ready for the first encounter yet, but... There's a lot of chickens running around today. What's going on? Let's see if I can get it. Let me are. They move so fast. And these arrows suck. <laughs> All right. Let's 
zombie right over there. Maybe I might just take one of these homes and make it into my own. How's this home looking like? This looks destroyed. Ooh, I missed on that one. Let's see if we can get our first kill right now. You know what? Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, ugly mob. There we go. Make sure that, ooh, there's another one. That's a little crawler. There we go. Nice power hit to the head. We got him with the insta kill. Okay, I'm a little indecisive of where I want to set up camp for the night. But then I'm also thinking there is a hospital right here. Maybe I could pick a certain section of the hospitals and uh, make it into a little base. Because... It's made out of concrete, so it's, it'll support a lot of damage. Maybe I'll just do just that. Let's do that. Maybe right there, the little tent area, I'll live right outside and support it, so I won't have to put so much inside. Ooh, Ooh okay, okay. Oh, bastard. Okay, 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 okay. It's more over there, so. Hmm, I'm liking this idea. It's an open field. Set up a lot of traps and all that. Let's see how. Okay, let's just build it up this way. With time, I'll make up some like a little stair system. Let's see if we can. Uh, Oh, a little bit more. It is high up here. Ooh. Oh, it's a vulture. Nice. Man. I thought I was in trouble there for a second. There we go. Take this. Collect what we can from this zombie vulture. So this looks pretty nice. I think this looks like a nice little spot to set up camp. It's a bathroom here. I don't want to fall in there just yet. Let's just cover that up. For now. Can we cover it up? I want to avoid falling in there at all at any cost, but it's, uh... Okay, that's nice. So let's get that campfire going. I'll craft it up. Boom. Let's place it now. Alright. Good job, survivor. You have proved to be capable with much potential. We have marked your map with the nearest White River Outpost location. There you will find a trader where you can buy and sell goods and trade stories with one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard, Noah. Okay, thank you, Noda, Noah, for the greet. Let's see if there's any zombies in here.
Yep, there's a zombie in there. Alright, I woke him up. Alright, so let's wait for him to break down that door for us. Meanwhile, we're going to make a test. Play a couple of tests. This is where I'm going to put. Start putting some of my resources for now. Alright, so let's put all of the things that we don't. Actually, I'm gonna put this as the food. Since it's right above the campfire. So let's start doing that. Seeds as well, blueberries. Let's throw all that in there. All the random stuff, just put it. Yeah, money. Actually, I'm gonna need a stone. Pine cones don't need so much. Pine cones would be well to plant some more trees so we can get more wood in the future without having to go so far. There's a lot of feathers there. The torch. I'm going to need the torch. Oh, so there's two of you guys I have to fight. Get it. Like, ah, boom! Oh, you look, they look crazy, these zombies right now. Alright. Give me my arrow back. Alright, get that arrow back. Anything else in here? Ooh, two zombies still sleeping there. Ooh, oh! Now, I just almost died. Oh my god. Is that... There was a mine there? Like, really? I am so lucky that I survived that. You saw how much health I had? Like, almost six health. <laughs> now, I'm like, I got scared for a second. Oh, man. That was crazy. It's starting to get dark as well. Okay. So we can loot this up. Coffee. Look this quick and we'll go through what we have once we get back out. Ooh, I found some armor. Okay, let's wear this. Scary out here. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see some food before we go out there because the damage that I just took. Oh man. Just give me water? Yes, it does. Get some water. Just gotta stay hydrated. Eat another can. This is oh, moldy bread. Oh, well, we can use this as like fertilizer eventually. We have a cooking pot, mm, a bottle of acid. All that. Okay, let's go. Let's get out there. Make another bedroom. Oop, I have to go that back down and make one. Alright, so you know what? Let's go back. Let's go skill these guys. Interact with the vending machine. Okay. See if there's any water in here. 
Pour water. Ooh. A nurse. Well, that sounds about right since we are in the hospital. I'm going to put a wood door there just to block. Give us a little near block. Right now. Boom. Okay, let's upgrade it. Alright, I need iron to upgrade it even more. Okay, so this is a lower level right here. Let's see with my bow if I can get some stealth damage. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was an instant kill. Let's go get him. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. Taking a lot of damage right now. Oh man. Okay. So it doesn't look too bad. We could build that could be our little main place. Make a little slide right there to go up. Just fix that up. And then we could also fight the zombies from up here during the night time and also horde night. So it's not too bad, not too bad. Eventually I'll get to work here and fix this up. Make sure I clear the area. I don't want to see any more wolves. But Yeah, let's go out. Let's um actually first let me go up and Get some health. Okay, let's use this. <clears throat> All right, so we got the cooking pot in. Now let's see if we can make some food. I may need a grill, that's the problem. Trying to see what the eggs, I can make at least two eggs out of it. All right. Okay, so I can make, oh, sorry. Oh, it's gonna take five to eight. Wow, 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 okay. Well, let's see, let's make some eggs at least. So it takes one bottle of water. Wow. Eight seconds to make the egg. Let's turn this off. Preserve some wood. Alright, so let's go back down. Zombies are at, but oop. Got some pet finders for now. So now we can make our bed roll, place it down, craft another one. Oh, so we're going to need a lot more food. How much stone this gives? So it's not giving enough stone. Plus three at a time. Let's chop down this tree. I'm going to try to gather as much resources as I can before the nighttime falls. Oh. 
Oh, I got some visitors. Hello. Are oh, you look yo interesting looking? Oh. There we go. Talking about it. Now we're level three with six skill points to spend. I'll spend it once we get back to base. Oh, I miss it. Alright. Mm. Knock you out. Ooh. There we go. Eventually, we're gonna have to go visit the trader, see what he has to offer. Oh. Oh. Zombie right there. Yeah, what are we working with? 83 stone, 100 wood. Let's gather a little bit more wood. Out these trees, so we have a more open view of the area. Oh, I need to find some antibiotics. From, it was from that damn vulture that came by and infected me. But thankfully, we're in the hospital, so before it gets any worse, we're gonna go loot the hospital tomorrow. And then we're gonna go gather some resources. But let's see, we scrap this. We use the next axle. We scrap both of them, as a matter of fact. And then. Right. I hear something. Oh, yeah. oh you wanna. Be Let's get the stealth damage on them. Oh, that is horrible. There we go. So now let's go for the kill. There we go. Get my arrow back. Ooh. Always try to get that stealth damage. More plant fires on night time. We're gonna make some, some things. Let's see. I really don't know what else to do before night time falls. I'm very limited what we could do right now. I just need to organize. Get my things going. Ooh. Oh man, it's not the bodies. Okay. There's a treasure map in there too. It's good. It's good. It's good. Hey you. Let's get it. Done. Alright. See if there's anything. Back to loot while down. Ooh, we found a flashlight. The safe there. Ooh, actually let's pick up this chair. We could get some leather off that too. In this, any medicine? Oh, okay, there's some books there. You can read and learn to eventually craft some new items. Right. Down. Okay. And yeah, we're right above that.
actually we have until 2200 if I get that this chicken we'll be in we'll be good all right so the trade is not too far away right, that's a good thing in the trash nothing in the trash pile come on Some eggs, some feathers. We need more and more. More the merrier. Collect some cotton. Now with this, let's see, cotton, we can craft certain items, clothing, and this right here, we can make a certain um, beverage for the character. Eventually, I would like to get a farm going, so start growing our own fresh vegetables and we'll not have to worry about food ever again. Alright, my character is hurt. Is running a little slow, he's not feeling too good. <laughs> Let's get this plan out of him. Once we find a wrench, we can start breaking down cars. Let's see, what can we break down? Overalls, you know, where is it? Alright, so it's better. Let's scrap this, scrap that. Actually, what saved me was those, uh, was the uh, scrap boots because of the explosive um, resistance. So, not gonna wear that. You know. That's this is a skirt. Scrap that for some cough fire. A barrel attachment. I teach you how to craft this item. Let's use it. So I had two of them, so maybe we could save this. The sell price is for 160. I see. So save that for the trader. I right, saved this for the trader as well. I would go on the home, but not too much time left. Let's get dark. Take this because I do have some water. So I take a painkillers. Boost our health up. Ooh, there we go. That's what just what we needed. Now to reinforce it, let's make some water because the painkillers they're gonna dehydrate your character drastically. So. Ooh, it's a chicken. Come on. I wanna get you some one more chicken before the night hits. Let's not try to startle him, but I can get him. Oh, right there, right there. Let's see if I can shoot through the car. Ooh, yes, we got him. We're going to eat good today. Thirst is still going down. Let's drink another bottle of water. All right, brought it back up to seventy, but still going down. Mm. All right, so we got into twenty-two hundred. Right now it's twenty-one ten. We do not want to get caught outside once the nightfall comes, because that's when the zombies will become aggressive. And they're going to run. We don't want to get caught by them, or else they're not ready for that, all that. Let's see if I look at the videos. 
I don't see anything much out there. This looks like it'll lead us to the woods. Same as over there. It's a huge mountain over there. Alright, let's go up to our camp and uh, let's settle ourselves in. I'm also encumbered, no wonder I'm uh, running, walking so slow. Alright, let's put everything away. Put the animal clean. Let's take the map. I'll take the map. Put all the random stuff in there. Cut off fragments. More iron. Coffee and beans. Put this, put some nails in there. Ooh, the computer's here. Hmm. Let's grab that. And water. And you can just put those together with some eggs. Alright, so we got some leather out of that. So this is good. Alright, let's put a torch down. I'm also gonna throw uh, these in there. Put that, the note, this, this too. Put that in there, this. Some lot of stuff I had on me. Now we have room for when we go looting again. Well, I have 150 scratches. Okay, so make some bow and bow arrows. All right, there we go. All right, so place our bedroom. Now we're just gonna put it. Fine. Alright, so the porch right here, put it right there so we can see. Okay, well, we got some chairs here, a little table there. You know, it looks, it looks nice here. Only we get these lights to work. Well, eventually, when we get some electricity, we'll be able to do that. But now, let's focus, let's try to feed our character because. Taking a lot of damage earlier. Turn on the fire. Let's see what we can make. Some bacon and eggs. Oh, some bacon and eggs would be amazing, man. So now let's go to the skill tree. Skills. All right. So what we have here. So in the skill tree, we have here the attribute of perception. Perception is the measure of your sensory environment. Okay, okay, so this will help us improve our rifles, explosive damage, spears, and tools. Okay, and these right here, dead eye, specialize in taking keen aim of rifles and wasting your target with an expected lead place bullet. One shot, one kill. Okay, so this is good if you want to become a better at with well, your rifles. Aiming bullet. Now, this is an explosives. Each one is going to give us a higher percentage of. So for now, what I'm going to work on, since we're going to be coming across a lot of zombies head to head, so let's go to the strength attribute. So bench warmer, this you have graduated to bench warmer, reduce melee and tool stamina use it and power attack. So this is good for combat, so let's buy one. Less stamina usage. Humble Pete, you might not pack a punch, but a roughneck, you can swing a club. Okay. 
Uh, so we'll, we'll be able to craft better quality clubs and do more damage. So, okay, so we should definitely buy that. So we're at level one. So if you get level two, you might be scrawny. This will increase our, let's see, fortitude, so you feel a little better than you used to deal 210% headshot damage and you have 10% of just number of fist imaging guns. Hmm. Pain tolerance will be good actually, let's see. You would like to think you reduce HP loss by 5%. Before I buy that, let's see what else. We have agility, we have intellect. But right now, I don't really think I need the intellect right now. I could buy it. Oh, you can run out blast me, able to craft. Okay. Craft floors and craft items 20% faster. Craft will be cheaper. Right now I'm a little indecisive on what exactly I want to put my this button. I'm thinking maybe I should put it on the food so we could cook that meat. I have to be under here. Iron gut. Stomach health isn't perfect, but it's better than the average wastelander. Reduce food and water loss from physical exertion by 5%. So this is good against so we can get as hungry and thirsty. Let's skip that as well. That's just a brawler. Mm. Bully. Tired of being bullied? Well, then zombies can't bite me. You knock the damn teeth out. Craft quality two core knuckle weapons. Mm. That's pretty fun. You could uh, get some brass knuckles and fight it out with the zombies. <laughs> so let's get this for now so you can bake some basics. Harvest, let's harvest more. So that way we could gather more resources. You could harvest 20% more from ore stone, terrain blocks, and trees with any pickaxe, pick, cheese on auger. That's good since. You know, starting the game out, we're going to gather a lot of resources to start building our base. Now I have one more skill point. Where should I add it? Okay, so we can craft and do more tool damage. About that. It's okay. <clears throat> Maybe I might go with let me see one more thing here. Under javelin. Salvage operation. Lucky looter. Maybe the lucky looter so we can find. We can loot faster. Okay. So there we go. Now. Oh, look. So now we can make the bacon and eggs. Now that we learned the, the first chefing skill. Hard to meet. Well, no, I don't want that. That's disgusting. So now let's eat our bacon and eggs. Ooh, we was hungry. Our food level was at 35. Wow. And it's still going low. So let's look at what our character is going through right now. So we go here. Let's go to the stats. My food is pretty high. Okay, so I'm good on the food, good on the water. Ooh. All right, so that's some beautiful looking flames here. So let's see that scenery from the outside. Okay. 
beautiful clouds. So this is the zombie apocalyptic world. I would not like to get caught here at all. So yeah, so this is it for the day. I'm not sure for tomorrow. It seems like for day two, we're going to loot the hospital a little bit. So that way we can at least close off the first floor and have it to ourselves. That section. And then we're going to hit the nearby homes. We got ready. We got one, two. Okay. So we have a good amount of homes to loot. So now we can get a bunch of resources. Bring it back to base. And, you know, once we have all the resources, we're going to get a forge going. That's just, that's one of the first things we want to get ASAP. So now we can start making some iron weapons, pickaxes, start crafting, making some met eventually. So we can upgrade and do some upgrade to this hospital because it looks all messed up. Especially patch up this ground, this floor right here eventually. But besides that, I feel like this will be... A, Really nice base. Let me not fall and die. Especially down there. If I get caught by one of these zombies, that'll be it. I want to clear some of this out. Ain't much to do on night. Except this plan for the next day. And oh, especially we gotta go to the trader. The trader has a lot of goodies there. We wanna check them out frequently. But right now, it's not really worth going for because I don't really have anything important. So once I go loot, find some valuable items, then we can go sell it. And then when it comes to the trader, we're going to want to focus on the bar bartering skill, which is... Yeah, exactly. better barter. You are good at wheeling and dealing and never pay full price for anything. Get a 5% better deal buying and selling merchandise with traders. Well, this is going to be the, the train one focus on once I gather up a lot of loot in these homes that I can sell and eventually buy something nice and valuable from the trader. What would be amazing it would be if we could get an auger so we could start digging and get the resources that we need. We're going to need a lot of stone, a lot of iron. That yeah, way we could get this ball on the road. But yeah, it's a beautiful night. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Because I'm going to be putting out more videos for each day so it'll be a nice little um series i would like to make this into right now it ain't much but after a couple of days from now this base is going to look lovely and then every seven days there's going to be a horde night where there's going to be a horde of zombies for that whole night coming to put our base to the test so that's something you guys are going to want to look forward to so stay tuned have a good night everybody catch y'all in the next time peace